Okay, what I wanted to do here was take a look at the new Debian Trixie uh, release candidate one for the Debian installer. Now, just as a note here, um, Debian does not have a release candidate uh, for like Trixie. It is, Trixie will be in testing until it is declared stable and then it'll just go into stable. This is literally just for the installer. So this is the new release candidate for the Trixie installer. So we're just going to run through a quick install of Debian Trixie on the new installer and see what's kind of different. I'm actually going to go through the advanced options and I like doing the expert install just to give me some more options. So this will be more for like uh, somebody who's used to Debian and all that. Uh, sorry the fonts are a little small here, but um, Let's choose our language, English, United States. We will go with that. Uh, don't need Braille. We'll do the keyboard, American English. We will mount the install. And this will detect pretty much everything we need. I'm going to go for the defaults on most of this stuff. And there isn't a whole lot that I've seen so far that's different. There's a couple of little things, but it is pretty much the same as what it was with the Debian bookworm release. Uh, the Debian installer hasn't, this net installer hasn't changed much over the past few years. Um, just going to do automatic network. And this will detect our network and all that kind of jazz. So we're just going to load this dude up. And host name Debian's fine don't need a domain name if you have one you can set that up I'm not gonna do setup as root that way I don't have to it, the user will automatically be set up for the to use sudo uh, so I don't have to worry about setting up the visudo and setting up the user for sudo if you don't do that you'll have to manually set the user to be able to use sudo uh, if you set it to where it won't log in won't have a root account then your the account you do set up will be the administrator account you'll be able to use sudo to run commands we're going to do the network time i'm in central time zone detect our disks i'm just going to run through here and let it do a manual partition or not manual, I'm going to let it do its own partition the way it wants to. It's just a one disk VM right now, so I'm okay with it. Go ahead and doing the entire disk. Uh, you can set up separate partitions if you want, but we're just going to do the recommended. Everything in the same thing. This will just make sure you know that it's going to wipe the disk out and install fresh. So we're going to install the base system. This is just installing the base configure or the base packages to get the system installed and up and running you can do a minimal install i have a video on my channel that goes through the debian minimal install uh, it's based on the bookworm release which is the current stable we're looking at trixie being released probably this summer sometime maybe in a month or two uh usually with the release candidates start rolling out and i believe the hard freeze is coming up relatively soon we really should have a release maybe by August or September uh, would be my guess as far as the release there they don't Debbie doesn't go by a strict release schedule so it's pretty much released when it's done you know whereas Ubuntu has a six month release on their interim releases every six month it comes out and then same with Fedora and then LTS releases on Ubuntu yeah, every two years Debian Roughly every two years they come out with a stable release, but they don't hold to a strict release schedule. They release it when it's done, um, which is a good thing. I mean, they don't have to abide by any strict release schedules, so they have a... Uh, yeah, they just release it when it's ready. And as you saw there, it used the 6.12 kernel. That's the current LTS, and I imagine that's what they're going to ship with. They'll probably ship with... They usually ship with the current LTS kernel kernel at the time of release so that should be the 6.12 linux kernel and that sh 
that is probably what they will release with on yeah 6.12 that's what they're going to release with i would imagine on the stable version of trixie so that is what that's going to install again like i was mentioning earlier the minimal install if you want to go that route we'll just pop you into a terminal and then you can install what you want from there. I have a video about how to do a minimal install. With this one I'm thinking about using the defaults here and just kind of go through the state of Trixie currently. If you just installed it kind of everything default. Um, it's going to scan for the firmwares. I believe nowadays the firmwares are on the actual disk or the actual ISO so you don't have to back in the day you had to get your firmware separate if you had a non-free firmware that you needed I'm setting up the non-free software I don't need the sources that's just different proprietary packages and drivers that you may need I go ahead and even though these some of these will be empty repositories right now they still have them set up and we're going to go for back ports and all this stuff because those will eventually become active and will when Trixie's released and stuff will start going to those repositories. So you want to go ahead and set those up, even though they will technically be empty right now because it's this is still Trixie is still in a testing phase, but will we will be released soon. So now we can select and install what we want. And here you'll have an option for different um, desktop environments and things like that. The package survey, uh, this is a little bit of um, information they gather about what you're installing on your default config. It's uh, a little bit of data collection, but it's relatively anonymous. I still don't do it. I'm just not too big on data collection, so I don't really care about that. But if you're wanting to help them out, you can enable those things. And here's what I was talking about. You can select, they default to GNOME, but you can obviously select any of these or none of these if you want. Um, I'm going to go with the defaults and the default GNOME, just kind of see where the state of Trixie is right now. Now this is a new thing down here. I don't know if you can see it, but the Debian blends. Those are things like Debian Med for medical and Debian EDU for um, education these are just special pure blends i believe you can look that up and that's just adds extra packages if you need a specialized packages usually you'll kind of know what you're looking for if you're using a pure blend with debian uh, i wouldn't worry too much about that unless you are using debian for a specific purpose like education medical and things like that they will have specialized packages particular for that we're just going to go with gnome the default and just kind of see where we're at on GNOME. This will take a little bit of time to download. I'm using the net installer, so it's got to pull, it's going to pull everything directly from the uh, repositories fresh. So we're going to go that route and just see what that does. I'm going to let this run for a minute and then we will pick this back up after it gets installed. All right, it looked like it's finishing up here a bit on the install. That took a little bit of time. Uh, to get all the packages installed because I did select GNOME and Debian has a tendency to install quite a bit of stuff when you do the default installs. I don't know exactly what all is default so we'll check. Now it's going to go through the Grub installer to install Grub which is just the bootloader to get it booted. Um, this, I actually have to do this on my laptop when I install this um, because my laptop BIOS is janky so it doesn't hurt to go ahead and say yes here usually, especially if you're having issues with booting from your BIOS, the EFI. Uh, again, my laptop's old and its EFI is ganky, so I have to enable this because uh, I do have that buggy uh, bootloader or boot <clears throat> BIOS on this thing. This will update to where it'll default to Debian in your EFI if you have, for example, um, a different Linux distribution or a different, or if you have Windows or something like that, this will automatically update your NVRAM to select Debian at boot. In other words, it'll load Debian's Grub 
initially instead of another OS. Here, you'll want to enable this if you're using a different operating system. If you're dual booting, it will, and you're wanting Grub, and you're wanting Debian's Grub to detect it. So you can, from Debian's Grub, select like Windows or a different Linux distribution. You can do that. I don't have anything like that on here, so I'll just do no. And this will go ahead and install a couple of extra packages, and it will should finish up. Again, this is just the Grub install. Get that upgraded, updated, and that's it as far as the install. So we're going to finish and let this thing reboot and see what Debian Trixie looks like right now. Uh, uh, kind of the state of Debian Trixie at the moment and see if it's usable on here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this. It's got to do a couple of extra packages and firmwares, and then it should ask me to reboot here in just a sec. Here it's just wanting to know if you want to select your time to UTC. You want to say no if you're using something like Windows because it uses local time instead of UTC. But if you're just using Debian or just using Linux, I would go ahead and do yes here. And that will update your system clock. Now it's ready to reboot and it'll go into the install. It'll tell you to, you know, it's remind you to take the disk out and all that. So let's boot into it here. We have Debian. It looks like it's already got the new artwork for Debian Trixie because that's a different bootloader screen than what's on Bookworm. So let's see if this thing will boot up or not. How long it takes on here. I'm using a virtual machine. I'm recording on my laptop, which I generally don't do because this is an old laptop, so I have no idea what quality this is going to turn out being. Um, I usually use my desktop to record videos, but I'm using my laptop right now. And I'm also using a virtual machine, so we'll see. Alright, so we got Debian 13. This is the GDM boot menu. Um, you do still have the option of Xorg, whereas like Fedora has doesn't have Xorg anymore on the default. But uh, at least for right now, Debian has both. Wrong password. There we go. And this should boot into the GNOME. There we go. You can take the GNOME tour if you don't know much about GNOME, but we're not going to worry about that right now. I've got to actually go in here and change my resolution because of the virtual machine doesn't automatically detect the resolution. You probably won't have to do this on your main hardware. But I do have to do it on here. So let's do that. We'll keep changes. There we go. Everything looks good. And here we go. We have... I actually... Let's go here and look. We'll go to the system. Go to about. So here we go. Debian Trixie. This is just my VM. This is my actual processor. How much RAM I gave it. Okay... We're looking, there's the kernel version 6.12, it's GNOME version 48, and that's probably what's going to release with Debian Trixie, even if they come out with another version of GNOME before Trixie's released, this is probably what's going to be in Debian Trixie is GNOME 48, because the hard freeze will be coming up pretty soon. Um... Everything looks pretty usable. Everything booted and did fine. It does install quite a few things by default. It used to install like games and everything. So this actually doesn't look as bad as Bookworm did as far as the default install. No, this ain't too bad. Just a few little things. So looks like they have changed what some of the default packages are. Um, again, you got the software manager, which is just GNOME software manager. And that's pretty much it. Um, I like that the fact that it doesn't come with quite as much bloat. They did install, like before it would install all the GNOME games and all this other stuff. So it's a little less this time. You do have LibreOffice and a few packages. Um, oop, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Debian Trixie. Again, this is just the testing version. This is not a release candidate for Trixie. This is just the release candidate for the installer. Uh, 
Trixie itself will be in testing until it is declared stable. Debian doesn't release release candidates for the whole system or alphas or betas or nothing like that just for the installer only. But if you're wanting to install Debian Trixie now and test it out, again, rem just remember it's still in testing. It will be going through the hard freezes and soft freezes and all that stuff here. We're in that process right now. But just keep that in mind that you may run into some issues. I've actually on my laptop ran into a few issues with the NVIDIA driver. But again, my laptop's older, but I was running into some issues. I don't know if those will be fixed by the time Debian Trixie's released. When it does get released, I'll do another video on Debian Trixie. But if you're wanting to test out Debian Trixie and use it, the release candidate installer seems to be working fine. I've not run into any bugs or any weird issues right now. I've tried it a few times and I haven't had any major problems on my hardware. So installing Debian Trixie with the release candidate should work just fine. And, you know, that's what we got. I appreciate everybody watching the video. I hope you like and subscribe and uh, all that good jazz. God bless y'all. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.